Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Germany. I have a bottle of the St. Killian distillery, brand new distillery, just opened up three years ago. And um, this is their hand fill. Now the master distiller, Mario, Mario Rudolph, actually filled this up for me while I was being filmed and we did it together. And this is a chestnut, not finish, but rather um, a chestnut bottling. So chestnut cask, it was distilled on the 13th of July, 2016. It was bottled on the 3rd of September, 2019, 0.5 liters, 59.9% alcohol, not bad, unpeated and a chestnut cask. So this was full maturation in a chestnut cask. So I've already poured a little bit. It was too much for my German video, actually. Now, this is a very interesting distillery. I'll be posting um, some little um, pictures here, as you will see. Um, it's just an, it's a, it used to be an old clothing factory. Uh, Andreas, or Andy as he's called, he's a fin fa finance banker. We've heard this story in the States a few times, right? Haven't we? With um, Hill Rock and so on. And he got a, he wanted to have a little bit of a passion. Also, um, Klaus Waltz, same, same story, yeah? Uh, these guys have, a, I'm just going to say these guys have a little bit too much money and they build their own distilleries uh, and he doesn't have any investors he did it all by himself invested millions and millions into this distillery they're now producing 200 a thousand liters a year they are going to go up expand up to 500 um, thousand liters a year running a three shift system and then that's it all right so half a million they're going to still be a very small distillery um, and yet they want to have Whiskey made in Germany, and they want to conquer the world with their nice little products. Now, um, the bottle is actually, um, every time I see this, I think Houston Oilers. I don't know why, um, but it's actually their pot still. Um, other people are going to say, hey, it looks like a Willet pot still. But it's actually a, in Italy, they made these bottles and exactly like this. St. Killian was um, a patron saint of the region. And so there's a religious connection here. They're using a lot of natural products from the area. Um, very, very well done. They do peated and unpeated. And since they're so young, they will be surely but um, certainly expanding into more markets. First of all, Europe, and then after Europe, Asia, then after Asia, probably North America. And it's always going to be remaining a little bit of a more of a high super premium product. Um, they had seven batches of their spirit of St. Killian, which was not yet three years old. Over here in Europe, we need to have three years old in order to be called a whiskey. And now they're going to do with the first three to five year old whiskeys as well. They're going to do also um, signal to, uh, signature edition one to seven and then after that they'll open up with a little bit of more of their core standard range with a um, no age statement unpeated no age statement peated uh, cast strength peated cast strength unpeated and then there'll be a lot of single casks out there as well now I personally am not a big fan of, of chestnut in my whiskey. Um, Method and Madness did it with one of their Irish whiskeys in Germany. We have a place called Aurium with Gravedigger. They do it. Um, Teeling did it with a distillery only with one of their bottles. I've had three or four different things with, with chestnut in it. Every single time, it just doesn't meet what I want. It's um, bitter. Um, it's like having a little bit of a um, roasted walnut together with cappuccino or mocha. Imagine a roasted, um, um, exact roasted walnut with mocha together. It's just all that, mmm, it's so bitter. It's just not really my world. Now, I must admit two things. First one, mm -hmm. it is really surprising how smooth a three-year-old 60% whiskey can be. I don't have a single problem with the alcohol. The alcohol is just nice. It's very well integrated. There's no burn. It's just there, but it's not going, hello, hot, hot. It's nice. It's smooth. It's silky almost. Um, great job. But the chestnut full maturation just kicks you in the, in the, in the butt. 
and says, here I am. Now that's what it should be. If you had a full maturation of sherry or port or rum or anything else, that should be the main taste. And this would be excellent for a little bit of a mixing. So signature edition number one, what did they do? They took um, basically like 70% X rum casks, 25, 26% X bourbon casks, and added one cask to the whole batch of the chestnut. And that gave it a tiny little bit of a kick at the end, and many, many people liked it. I wasn't a big fan of it because of that, but that's the way it is. Um, now, keep your heads out for St. Killian. Uh, St. Killian whiskey made in Germany. In the next couple of years, you'll be finding it on um, Le Maison de Whiskey. And Paris is one of the first um, distributors that will be happening. And then there'll be people in other parts of the world where you start getting single casks and other things out there. You see them in auctions every once in a while as well. There's a big fan base here in Germany that's buying up the whiskey. I think their plan is to have 500,000 fans selling like 50,000 bottles a year, something like that, and so on. So that's going to be pretty cool. All right. Um, $59 for a hand fill. Um, it's 0.5 liters is the only thing that's a problem there. Um, what can I say? In Scotland, it's 100 pounds, and here it's about 40% less. Can't complain. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American tasting a very strange and exotic whiskey. I'm giving, I'm giving it a C- minus for the taste, C- minus for the price. It's just not my style. Other things, mm -hmm, I have in another video coming up a X Isla cask maturation. Ooh, also interesting. And they're doing a lot of special things out there. Um, and so we'll see what happens. The distillery, yay. The cask type, nay. That's the way it is. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Very much so. And um, my videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.